the beautiful people of the internet. <laughs> We're gonna work today. We're gonna work on a custom quilt, but I have a whole bunch of videos of how I set up the quilt. In this video, I wanna share how I finish a custom quilt, how I get it done, and some of the process of what I was dealing with with this quilt. So let's uh, do this. I was gonna work on that, but I'm not gonna work on it right now because, you know. <laughs> hey, me. Okay, let's get going. Well, I'm still not finished. I still need to go through and lock in some stitches and kind of go through the whole quilt and make sure it's finished. But this is what it looks like so far. And so what I love about this quilt is she went ahead and used wool batting and that's what makes it loft up really beautiful. And I went ahead and I stitched in the ditch. I didn't film it. One of the reasons I didn't film it is you've seen me stitch in the ditch before. I will post the videos at the end of this video if you want to see how I do it. I didn't think it would be important for me to be filming it. And also too, I was trying to finish this quilt before I went on a trip and um, I literally finished stitching in the ditch and then I went on a trip. So yeah, I didn't have time to be filming it. And since I know you've seen other content that I have created in that process, I didn't think it would be a repetition. <laughs> So I didn't film it, okay? Good morning, beautiful. We're gonna have a lot of work to do. It is a lot. I just came back from a trip and it changed my world, it changed my life. I really just feel like it changed the way I think about things. But I'm coming back to a lot of work. One of the things I've learned about custom clothes, which kind of is annoying, but a blessing at the same time, is you can't hurry the thing up. It takes a lot of time. And if you're gonna be a good custom long armor or quilter, you have to be willing to be patient. <laughs> From having to clock in every design, meaning mark every design, have it quilt, mark every design. And I'm doing it one by one because I learned that if I move on the quilt that it shifts the design. So it is very meticulous work and it takes a lot of time and you can't be in a hurry to do it. That's for sure. I know it looks like a mess. And then it'll go to the next one. What I did want you to see is that my client picked a certain design to put in the center. What ended up happening is I should have gotten the block, but the block looked different than this design. So I ended up getting, uh, it's called a panto where it goes all the way across. That's how it was created. So right at the end of certain areas of this block, I had to stop it. And if I didn't stop it, it would keep on quilting if I got distracted. And then I ended up having to be unstitching. So here's some footage of me unstitching a quilt and how sometimes quilting does really suck. It's, it sucks. Everybody's like, I wanna be a long arm quilter. Like, no you don't. This is like, every job or every skill set has problems in it and it's no different in quilting or long arm quilting or having a quilting business or Etsy, it, it all has problems. If I have any type of distraction, like cleaning up Bob, <laughs> I supposed to stop it here, but, uh. Unstitching sucks. A lot. I love you blue, but not right now. <laughs> Sometimes, okay, see how I have that hook right there? And then you do that. And 
and I just you know, got distracted and I kept on quilting and now I have to unstitch. I think unstitching and quilting is the worst thing that could happen, but in comparison, there could be worse, right? Ignore my dogs. I wanna be done with it already. One of the things I do when I'm getting to this point is I roll the quilt down all the way and just kind of look at it in different angles to acknowledge how far you've already come. She's coming along. I need to do that corner and that corner, and this last row, and then I'm gonna have to take her off and go through the quilt and make sure that everything is quilted right. And there's no like loose threads or anything like that. Trim her down, put binding on her, and then I could call my client. But this is how far I've come. One of the things about custom quilts is that it's not just the quilting, it's having to clean up the quilting. So let me show you. What I tend to do is I've been cleaning the back. I think sometimes in the back you could see where things are not okay. So I've been cleaning the back of the quilt and then you could see like I have like some needles where I didn't quilt all the way like right here and um, I'm going to lay it on the floor so you can see it better but I have to stitch it and fix it and then while I was doing the cleanup I was working on this quilt and I'll show you this quilt but it's done. Alright let me show you a quilt for my client and then uh, anyway. Some people just kind of play you. Like I just, anyway, I'm not complaining. It's work, right? But still. So this is a quilt that she gave it to me before my trip and I forgot it even existed. That's what, like horrible, but I did it. She's done for my client. And when she texts me, I'm like, I already did two quilts for you. Like, but I, my plan was to have this done before I went on my trip and instead I started working on the custom quilt. Let me show you the custom quilt. I still need to work on her and clean her up, but let me show you. This is the custom quilt. She's beautiful. I have areas where she needs to be re-sewn, re-stitched, custom quilting man. Even after you've done with it, you have to go through the whole quilt and so you see like pins where the thread didn't lock in, where the thread is unthreading. Let me show you the back of it. Where you didn't quilt where you should have. But this is beautiful though. And then cleaning up all the threads that are everywhere because but in the time I was cleaning this quilt, I finished that other quilt. So custom quilting man, the, the, the struggle of them is trying to make sure that you allot the amount of time custom quilts require. And you can get, in the three days that I did this, I could have gotten probably 15 quilts done. But there's nothing like custom, like look how, Look, it's just gorgeous work. There's nothing like custom quilting. Nothing. It's like, it's art. It's art. But I still need to fix every area that I put pins on. That's part one. Where you quilted starts to come apart. For example, like here. I need to go back and re-quilt these areas and when I was cleaning the quilt these are the things that I was finding you'll fix the areas and then when you go through the quilt again like walk away from it and go back you'll find other areas that you didn't quilt very well one of the things that happens when you're stitching in the ditch you may kind of like make a mistake and I don't want you to be so hard on yourself when you do that because you can always go back and unstitch it and you can always go back and restitch it. And what happens, I think before when I was custom quilting, I would panic when I would go off the ditch or when I just didn't stitch it just right. Anyway, I would kind of like lose it because 
I was like, oh my god, I'm such a bad long armor. For example, like this area, like right here. But the truth is, from far away, you don't notice it. But when you're really up close to the long arm and you're like working, your eye can make you feel, or the closeness of it can make you feel like you're really screwing up. Give yourself grace. And sometimes I just go back and refix it. For example, like right here, I'm gonna unstitch that and requilt that. I even think I literally went back and just requilted it because it went off. So I'm gonna unstitch this and you're not gonna know that I didn't stitch in the ditch. All right. It's perfectly in the ditch here, but it went off. So initially, that's probably my first stitch. So I stopped and just went back and restarted and stitched it down. And the reason I, you can see I wobbled. Here, I don't mind that so much, so I left it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here and you can see a thread mess. I'm gonna unstitch this wobble. and get rid of all this crazy thread that's everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is just un unstitch there and keep unstitching. Make it nice and clean that up really beautiful. So what I do is sometimes, let's say I I stitched wrong, I'll go back, break the thread or unlock the thread, and go back and just re-quilt it. And then like right now, when I go into the cleanup process of this, I go back and just clean it all up. And you wouldn't even know that I didn't stitch in the ditch right. So what happened is I kind of unstitched all the area because it had like a thread nest. And now I have my sewing machine. I'm gonna go back. I went ahead and restitched this area. I cleaned it up and now it's done. And that's part of the cleanup. It's you go through the whole quilt and like you go and check seams that are like messed up and then I noticed that it did this here so I need to fix that pull this fabric down and clean it up I didn't even notice that it did that so let me fix it so you can see I had a pleat here I don't know if you see it right there I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna unstitch this area There's no more pleat right there. Now I still need to do the white. Right now I'm only doing the red thread. I traveled and I missed like little sections. I'm gonna go back and pull that down. So you can see that I need to stitch here and then travel down. And I'm sorry if the quilt's in. And cause like it unstitched right here. So you're gonna see me travel, stop. And I know once you have a long arm, it's really hard to like think about like quilting on a sewing machine again. <laughs> but like right now, I need the long arm to be quilting client's quilts. And I've already quilted as much as I could on this one. So I'm going back and just kind of finishing anything that I may have missed unknowingly. You can see that it's kind of like messy there. So I'm gonna go back and just re-quilt it. And then I'm going to go unstitch it. I think this is quilted, yeah. There it is. You see where it's off right there? I'm going to go ahead and unstitch it and clean this line up. And so if you stitch the ditch and it doesn't look right, you can always go back and re-sew it if you wanted to. Here you can see I just unstitched it and you can still see it's not a perfect line, but it's a little bit better than it was, I guess.
Never a dull moment. <laughs> Anyway, just, I need to kick him out of here so I can have some peace in my life, you know? So I could rest. Do you see them? No! Stop it. Roxy. I should have called her bandit because she's a little thief.